I'm Jimmy Cook. And I'm Max Albright, and you're watching the Northwestern News. For the weather today, Wednesday the 29th, cloudy and around about 30 degrees. Looking forward in the week, Thursday the 30th, partly cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 23. Friday the 31st, cloudy with a high of 37 and a low around 30. Now to Brett with the Brett Show. Thank you for turning into the Brett Show. I am none other than Brett. Recently, the East and West All-Star Reserves have been announced. Let's go first from the East. Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry of the Raptors, Jason Tatum of the Celtics, DeMontez Sabonis of the Pacers, Bam Adebayo of the Miami Heat, Ben Simmons of the Sixers, Jimmy Butler from the Heat as well, Chris Middleton from the Bucks, and now let's go to the West. First from the Nuggets, uh, Nikola Jokic, uh, Damian Lillard of the Trailblazers, Russell Westbrook from the Rockets, Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert both from the Jazz, Chris Paul from the Thunder, and Brandon Ingram from the Pelicans. Now back to Max and Jimmy. Thank you, Brett and the Brett Show. As of January 29th, there has only been five cases of the coronavirus in the U.S., two of them being in California and three of them being separated in Oregon, Illinois, and Arizona. No cases have been confirmed in Ohio, but two students at the University of Miami have been thought to have had it, but have tested and were not. The NFL All-Star Game, otherwise known as the Pro Bowl, was this past Sunday. And the NFC All-Stars faced off against the AFC All-Stars. The week started off with many fun activities like dodgeball, best hands challenge, the precision passing challenge, where the best QBs and wide receivers showed off their talents. The AFC would come out at top winning 38-33. Leading them was Lamar Jackson, who won Offensive MVP, and Calias Campbell, who won Defensive MVP. In local news, Wayne County Sports, the Instagram page by, ran by Ben Nichols, a junior here at Northwestern, is holding a local All-Star game. Ben was holding a voting for the local Boys and Girls All-Star games. He plans to give all the money earned to charity. Voting for the Boys game and Girls game has been finished as of yesterday. So you can look at Wayne County Sports on Instagram to see who made the teams. Now to Jimmy with some other news. Thank you, Max. Cleveland Police re received help from OnStar to catch a group of individuals accused of stealing a vehicle Wednesday morning. It started when police spotted a stolen car at a gas station on Clark Avenue on West 14th Street. As the car started to leave the gas station, police called OnStar to help slow down the vehicle. vehicle the vehicle made it to I-90 West just before Fulton Road exit. Video from News 5's overnight tracker shows Police walking with their guns drawn and walking behind the vehicle. Police were able to arrest around four to five individuals inside the car. Thank you for watching Northwestern News with Max, Jimmy, and Brett.